Welcome back to the Registers Report. My name is John Buckley. I am the Register of Deeds of Plymouth County. Um, this segment of the show, we always try to do something educational in nature. We've had surveyors, appraisers, um, commercial real estate brokers, but we've had many, many realtors. They're the people that are on the ground in real estate. And I have a great guest today, the new president of the South Shore Realtors, Jennifer Jewell. Welcome. Thank you for having me here today. So uh, first of all, Jennifer, why don't you give our viewers a little bit of uh, information on who is the, the South Shore uh, Realtors organization? Um, so South, South Shore Realtors is our second largest um, real estate um, trade organization in the state. We have over 3,000 members, um, and we span from Hull all the way down to Fall River region. Right. And I know you're based in Pembroke. Yes, we have two offices, actually. Uh, yes, we have one in Pembroke on Scusett Street, 48 Scusett, and then we have the other location in Fall River, 580 Eastern Ave. Right. So I, I know um, I've had uh, real tours on before, and it's a real point of pride to call uh, someone yourself a realtor. And why don't you tell us what that means to you and your organization? Well, um, not every real estate agent is a realtor. Um, we abide by a code of ethics, um, and we take that very seriously and keep each other in line with that code of ethics. So, so Jennifer, let's talk a little bit about the role of South Shore Realtors and the things that your organization does. Thank you for asking. Um, so South Shore Realtors, which is again, the second largest uh, real estate trade association um, in the state, um, we offer a timely education um, programs um, between credit um, CEUs that we have to maintain also to designations to even differentiate ourselves even more. Um, advocacy um, with public policy, and networking for realtor to realtor connections, uh, making that you know uh, connection between each other, um, career support and member benefits. We offer many member benefits from local benefits around the area to um, work discounts to even vacation opportunities. Okay. Yes, and any uh, uh, training and then changing. I should say fast changing technology that realtors are using? Oh, yes, absolutely. So, um, Chat GPT is the biggest thing right now in AI. So, we are looking at putting a program for that as well. Right. Yeah, it's amazing to me how much the, in, the uh, aspect of the speed in, in a closing and an offer and all that, and how you don't even really see any paper anymore. No, everything is electronic. I mean, yeah. we do have people that they do prefer paper to pen, right. which is great because you get to have that one on one time. Right. But also a lot of people are very busy in this day and age. So right. um, being able to sign on your phone a document is pretty impressive. Yeah, so that training must be very helpful for people uh, that haven't used that software before. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah so let's let's talk a little bit about um, um, your role as a realtor. Uh, this is a volunteer organization. The members of your board are all active realtors, and uh, people work their way up the chain in offices. And now that you become president, uh, they're looking to you for leadership in that. But you also have a um, real a working job, which is a realtor for Keller Williams Realty. Want to talk about that organization a little bit? Um, for Keller Williams, yes. Um, so I'm very proud to be working there. Um, I started as a volunteer at South Shore Realtors um, in finance and budget, and um, yeah, very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, and you know, slowly introduced myself to other opportunities. When you start to volunteer, you realize that the or how big the organization really is, and making those connections, as I always stress to the new members there, um, is so vital. Um, for your business. Well, certainly um, it's a large membership, but 
But what, what has your experience been on the ground as a realtor in this um, changing market? So um, we are seeing the inventory being low still, you know, it still hasn't rebound due to the, um, a couple of reasons, but one being the interest rates. Um, mm -hmm. Sellers are, you know, a little bit shy about putting their houses on the market um, and not knowing where to go. So we are seeing multiple offers, maybe not 15 offers on one property, but maybe three or four. Um, houses are sitting a little bit longer on the market, um, with about a month of activity. Yes, yeah, so we just finished our monthly reports for April. And um, I know there have been a lot of reports of the average housing sales value uh, decreasing but it, across Plymouth County, and it's a very diverse county, it's, it's still going up. It was up 2% over last year. Yes. Um, we have, um, with the inventory down, um, you know, limited houses, people are putting in their best offers and maybe even a better offer um, than the, they thought they were going to be putting in. So that is bringing the prices up just slightly. Yeah, so talk about the different roles once you've, found a buyer uh, and have an offer, a signed offer, the role of the realtor in that process? So when you are signing an offer, you it's a contract between you and the seller, and there are time dates that are very sensitive that should be maintained, um, especially because a lot of the times buyers are putting in earnest money deposits for the seller to take the house off the market until they close um, and not accept another offer. So right there, you know, it's really important that the agent is there each step of the way guiding the buyer through the process between home inspections and appraisals and making sure all those deadlines are met. And getting to the final. And getting to the final, final closing, person, yes. Person sale. Yes, and, really and, important. And so what is your role um, in monitoring the financing of the property? So, you know, you're working very closely with the mortgage brokers. You know, sometimes you're out there, if the listing agent can't be out there, you're meeting, uh, the buyer's agent will meet the appraiser mm -hmm. as well. You know, making sure that they see the home, that they have all the updates, um, you know, so that they can make the best estimate on the value of the house. So real estate is a cyclical uh, operation, as we know. Uh, we're, we were at an upcycle during COVID, which was surprising, and it certainly dropped off the next year, and now it's been the slowest year in a long time, but we know it'll come back. And, Always does. Uh, so what are your ideas for people in this time if they're thinking about marketing their home and getting it ready for sale? So uh, you, what you want to do is you want to hire a real estate professional like a realtor that can provide you the data to make an informed decision on what, how they're going to list their house and the pricing on that. Yeah. Um, first impressions are always important. The outside of the home and the, the exterior of the home, people love to do a drive-by and look at the neighborhood mm -hmm. before you're even able to get into the house. Um, and then also, you know, obviously home staging on the inside as well is vital. Great. I think uh, we're going to work this market for a while and we'll see where it goes. So it's great to hear your information about your on the ground experience, what is happening in real estate today. But let's go back to South Shore Realtors. If someone is watching who is not a member of South Shore Realtors, what would you say to them through this show, the reason why they should become a member? Uh, why you want to become a member of South, South Shore Realtors is um, for the education, um, the av advocacy. Um, we're very strong um, working with our uh, public officials here, um, uh, making sure that home ownership and the right to be able to work as a real estate agent is protected and um, the networking opportunities. You know, it's nice to walk into an um, open house and know the agent right. and having that connection right away right. versus not knowing how another agent works. So it's really right. important. So I, I guess I would always look at it. Your office is a team and social realtors is a team and they both uh, work together with other members of the team. Absolutely. Yeah.
great. Well, thank you for coming on the show thank again. You. Thank you so much. Great.